tic-tac-toe game and yeah um, let's begin with the actual game in, while it's running yeah. right. so to start the game up uh, at the moment we uh, well in the code in the actual coding we can start it up through here but we'll yeah. show you later how to start it up in a normal fashion yeah. so here to begin with we have a uh, new game winners reset and quick button to begin the new game we just click New game just over there, and that'll display two text fields where you can enter player one and player two name. Now, if you just leave these blank and hit start, you'll get an error because you can't start a game with uh, no player name as we have uh, designed it to. So, you need to enter some kind of name like, uh, well, what, what do you wish you like to enter? Joke. Joke? Alright, wanna have joke? Oh, no. <laughs> All right, and then once we've entered the player name, just click start, and that makes these cells active. So player one always goes first, as usual, and uh, they're certain noughts. So if game plays just by clicking cells and turning them over to nor cross, depending on whose turn it is. So currently, it is player two's go, and the game progresses as the players click cells until someone wins. Um, and oh. we, well, if we get a draw, like as we're probably going to get <laughs> very shortly, <laughs> we get this. The game was tied. A convenient pointer. Uh, to, and that just, uh, once we've, uh, you get an end game result, such as tie or win, the cells get greyed out so it still displays you know, the end result. And to begin again, you have to click the reset button, which brings you back to this sort of scenario where you can't click any of the cells just yet until you oh. click the start button, which has just happened. Yeah. So let's see what happens when someone wins. If you would. Ta -da -da. Joke is the winner. <laughs> and it also displays the number of wins they've had with this one. So one other feature we've added is a winner's table. So this just displays the players that have played and the number of wins they have had. Currently it doesn't display who they won against and we're still working on a way to uh, get that sorted. Uh, yeah. And when the uh, players want to uh, quit out of a game, uh, quit, oh, so actually we should get to saving. So if they uh, start playing a game and they quit, they will be given the prompt to save the game. So if they choose to save the game, the game will say it's been saved. And once they click OK, the whole application will close as expected. And then when they start the game up again, uh, just time, yep. uh, when they click new game, it will ask the prompt them if they want to restore the game. So when they choose so, they get that, those same things back. Until um, they complete the game, whatever the outcome might be. Yeah. So before we continue on to the code, let's have a look at how you'd open the game right normally, as opposed to through BlueJ. Oh, okay. Uh, Just very briefly. Yeah. So currently we have an exe file, but it can only run while it's within all the, uh, all the other packages. And yeah. Do we have any questions about the uh, running of the game before we move on? Yeah, cool. 
Alright, I will just run you through the, uh, the code of the game. Sorry, I'm out of the shot. Yeah. Do you mind, do you mind if we move your uh, laptop so it includes... Because um, your laptop's also recording, right? Yeah. Okay, so do you mind if we move it so it can see um, the person? All right, um, just running through the structure of the game, the classes in the game. Uh, as you can see here, we have five classes. This is not a class diagram. This is simply um, just the, the interface of the programming uh, environment. Um, so this is, we have the driver class, the GUI class, the controller class, over there, and the player class. Um, so what happens currently is the driver class contains the main method which starts up the game. Um, it's pretty much the, the method that the executable file looks for so the game can start. Um, and all it does is it, it sets up the, uh, the GUI. It creates a, a, a um, what's it called? Yeah, let's just say it starts up the GUI. <laughs> so it starts up the GUI. Um, and the GUI is pretty much just the what the, the, the interface that the user sees. Um, so all this code is pretty much just setting up the, the interface and providing uh, links between the interface and the gameplay logic. Um, so this is all basically what happens when a button is clicked. Um, yeah, that's it. It's resetting the, the, the GUI, the interface, when the game is done. Um, that's what all this code is on to the controller class. The controller class contains um, the gameplay logic and um, what happens during a game. Um, so like as can be seen in this in this method, um, when the uh, a button has been selected, um, this method is called up. The GUI calls up this method and passes it the button that has been selected and a string, um, a certain uh, a character actually. Um, and so this is the code for switching the image of the button. So if it's player one's ch chance, um, an all image will show up. If it's player two's chance, uh, an X image will show up. Um, and the logic uh, behind uh, how it tallies up who's won and who's winning or, who, or who, who clicked what button is, every time a button is clicked, like I said before, the buttons pass through, but also each button has a unique um, character, uh, which is linked to it. Um, and what happens is that there's an array, each player has an array of, uh, of uh, characters. So every time a button is clicked, a character is passed through. Um, and then what has happened is we have a method that checks to see. Um, once four clicks have been made, um, it checks to see because um, that's the limit of how many, but after, uh, by five, five clicks, the game can be won. So it checks after four clicks. Um, and it checks to see if um, a certain combination of, of characters, uh, if a player has a certain combination of characters, and if he does, then he's won the game. So it checks both players to see uh, which player has the, co the needed combination. Um, yeah, so that is the, the controller class. The controller class is really the link, the central link between all the other classes. Um, like I said before, the driver class just starts the game, um, and the uh, GUI class is just the interface. The controller class interacts with the GUI class, the database class, and the player class. It, it's the link between all of them. Uh, the database class is where we used to save our game. It contains all the um, all the events that happen in the game. That's where they're stored. They're stored in here. So we'll have uh, an array for an array for uh, for the buttons, an array that's for the players, and so on and so forth, um, just to store the events of the game and what is happening. Um, and then the player class is pretty much a recipe class for creating players. Um, pretty much a player is just composed of a name and the number of wins he has, so that's name and count. So that's all it does, it pretty much creates a player and yeah, that's its only use really. So yes, that is our game, um, that is how it works. We received a few comments uh, last time around and were able to make a few adjustments. Hopefully, they were to your satisfaction. Um, but are there any questions? Are there? Is there
anything contingent. Um, at design level, um, the fields are pretty large for entering maps. Yeah. Not quite obvious as fields. Yeah. My field. Yeah. Um, um, my book, um, it wasn't quite apparent that they were actually fields because the um, because the, the, the view is so tiled, mm. it just looks like another tile. Mm. Um, what was that nasty little um, method called message that popped up? Was that a debug? Which one? Um, there was a message popped up and then vanished again. A method called message. Oh, when we were starting the in the game. Let's uh, see if we can spot that. Unless, of course, you're the only one here with four guys. We need a Java message, would it? I don't think so. Uh, maybe when when we were starting the original game, the tic tac toe um, from the file. This? Do you mean this? Where's the file? The file has been closed. Did anyone else see that message pop up? Is it just me? Who is that? No, I think I know what you you're very referring quick. to. Yeah, very quick. Uh, do you mean that? No. Okay, this is simply. Uh, yeah, this is there's a, a little dialog box popped up with them, and very quickly all I saw it was um, a method call message. It's a method. And you didn't see what the method name was? No, it happened very, very quickly. It was, it oh, was okay. Quite, but you I managed to see the word method. I didn't spot it, but uh, do you remember what part happened? No, no, it's just part when you were just demonstrating it. Um, you could try and find it. If you're All right, Hawkeye. Right. Okay. Typical programmers. <laughs> let's, let's try and figure it out. Just try and reset see what happens. Okay, now um, try and um, just click start. Yeah, F try and finish the game before you finished it. What happens if you press reset now? Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Let's try that. Don't complete the game. Press reset. Yeah. Okay. Let's try Windows and see if that happens press Windows. Okay, uh, go to Windows. Turn the Windows off. Exit the Windows. Let's try and think. Did it pop up again? No, it didn't. Press New Game again. No, New Game doesn't work. It works totally pretty much on time. Don't know. Sure, not to worry. Um, what else have we got here? Um, again, you invoking the GUI or invoking it? Uh, it's a static class. So. It's, it's, it is in the, in, it's pretty much static. Pretty static. Yeah. And then. Um, so, what, what invokes the GUI? The driver. Uh, um, yeah. um, again, I'm not, I'm not entirely. The, the, the driver is entirely comfortable with the driver starting yeah. off. Normally, the first point of, of entry into the system is the GUI. Uh, yeah, right. it is. But it is the driver in yeah. fact inheriting the No, it's not. Um, all this does, all, all this driver class contains is that one method. I, that one method can be put into the GUI, but it was just for the sake of separating it and saying, okay, this, this is all. Um, again, at the design level, no, no indication of who's currently turned it into. It's not saying oh, okay. it's about putting it out there. Very much, again, right? And no, uh, well, you've got the stats here, you've got the few names here. Um, have any of the problems with file sizes? Like a, um, your story, um, how, your story is files, aren't you? Yep. Um, how do you kill a file view, is it? So currently what happens is um, there are multiple files stored. So there is the game the the game that has been saved. That uh, the way we set it is that only one game can be stored in memory. Um, simply because when you restart the game, you we didn't create the function where you can select which game you want to continue. Because if you keep on quitting a tic-tac-toe game, yeah. 
So it's only one game that can be stored in memory. But the in terms of the winners, who's won the game, um, it has because it's a uh, it's a string file pretty much, and it has as many winners as have played the game before. So it can get pretty large. But as I said, it's a string file which is pretty small. Um, yeah, it should be alright. Yeah. Alright. Shall we cut right. the recording? There's more to it. Cool. Alright. Thank you very much. Uh, oh. Alright, so so thank you very much for your time. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. Very good. Presentation. Yay. Uh, Alright, let's see this. Alright. Presentation time.